And here comes the uncensored Snick Farkas. Good evening. I'm your announcer, Snick Farkas. <laughs> Mayor, city, council, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. It is the clauses of Gold's policy as an equal opportunity offender not to support any one candidate. Therefore, he will not appear in the following episode, number 235, Butterfly Ballots. The following are the seven golden rules for gaining political office in specific groove. Number one, level the playing field. Make sure no one has the advantage. Number two, not all men are created equal, so if you're a woman, run. You have the advantage of being prettier and intellectually superior. Number three, bash your competitors at every opportunity. Talk openly about their bank accounts, unsavory business practices, non-residency, or secret closed door meetings, or when in doubt, spread rumors. Oh, talk about transparency in government. I heard one of the candidates once appeared nude in a publication. Which, of course, is ridiculous. <laughs> Everyone knows two of the candidates once appeared nude in a publication. <laughs> Number four, align your constituency with oddballs. There's tree huggers, golfers, lighthouse kooks, tide pool police, lamppost fanatics, butterfly nuts, museum freaks, chamber members, and a good number of wacky fraternal organizations more than glad to help. Number five, pick a safe platform, such as economics, common sense, history, ecology, or business. Try to avoid such to topics as clear-cutting, aggressive wild animal behavior, the clubhouse liquor license, or anything with the word Trojan in it. <laughs> Number six, promise them anything. Remember, city government has destroyed all that you hold dear, and you were there to fix it, even though your expertise may be limited to owning a local business or sitting on a city board. Besides, whether it be a car wash, skate park, or luxury hotel, nothing can happen. They just don't make term limits that long. <laughs> Number seven, proliferate the landscape with signs. It is the only way to get people to know your name. Those candidates who believe in grassroots, word of mouth, post-it notes, or incomprehensible websites to help spread the word have little chance of winning. In Specific Grove, it's all about the signs. And remember, if you lose, cry foul, demand a recount, and talk about dirty money. But when all is said and done, there is only one sure way to win in specific groove, and that is to run unimposed. <laughs> to be continued. As always, the Clauses of Gold is intended as parody and contains no actual information. Thank you and good evening.